Someday, aliens are going to land their saucers in a field somewhere in New Jersey, and everything's going to go just fine until we try and explain our calendar to them. Yeah, we divide our year into a number of subunits called months, made up uh, a number of days, and they're not the same length. I guess that's unavoidable. Your rotations count per orbit is, is a prime number. Yeah, it's not a prime number. But surely you have most of these months the same length and just make the last one shorter or longer. No, they're different lengths following no logical pattern. What? And we further subdivide the months into weeks, which is seven days. Ah, so each month is an integer multiple of weeks. That would make sense, but no, only one is sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah, our orbit around the sun isn't an integer number of days, so we have to change the number of days in a year from time to time. Oh yeah, a similar thing happened in Epsilon Indy 7, where they uh, have to add an extra day every 39 years to keep holidays on track. Yeah, that's yeah, how ours works, although the ratio doesn't work out cleanly, so we, we just do every four years, except every hundred years, except every 400 years. Oh, you number your years. What's the epoch? Uh, it's supposed to be the birth of a religious leader. But we got the maths wrong, so it's off by about four years. If he existed at all. If? You, you base your calendar on, uh, off the birth date of someone you're not sure exists? Yeah, he's written about in a famous book, but historical records are spotty. Interesting. Um, I didn't realise your planet was one of those with a single universe religion. That usually only happens in partial or complete hive minds. Oh, uh, we're not. You're not? Yeah, we have multiple religions. Oh, but they all have a common ancestor which agree on the existence of that leader, right? Oh, no. No, no. Two, two of the big ones do, but most of the others don't believe in him. Your calendar is based on a religious leader that not everyone believes in. Well, on his birth. Yeah, and yeah, we got that wrong by a couple of years. Okay, fine. So you have a somewhat complicated rules about when you change the length of years, and I'm scared to ask this, but you definitely just add or subtract an extra day to the end, right? No. At the start of the year. Mm, no, it's in the second month. Why would it be in the second month? I'm not sure, really. <clears throat> so, at this point, I'm dreading asking this, but how do you measure time within each day? Oh, that's much simpler. Each day is divided into hours. Each hour has minutes and each minute has seconds. Okay, ten of each. Ten hours? No, it's twenty-four hours, sixty minutes and sixty seconds. I thought you said you used base ten counting system. Well, we do mostly, but our time came from some long-gone civilization that liked base sixty like five thousand years ago. And you haven't changed it since? No. Okay, so why 24, if that's not a divisor of 60? Oh, basically, it's actually 12. What? Yeah, each day is 24 hours, but they are divided into two sets of 12. And that's five twelves. Right, okay, I see the logic there, almost. Um, so, like, after 12 hours, it becomes the second half, which is 1. Uh, no, after 11. Oh, so you in zero index them. Oh, good. So it's 0 to 11 hours uh, for the first half, and then what, 12 to 23 for the second half? Mm, no, it's 12 to 11 for the first half, and then again the second half. Mm, please, please explain that before my brain melts out of my mouth. The first hour is 12, and then the next is 1, and then it goes back to, up to 11, and then 12 again. But that's not how numbers work, and how do you tell the first from the second twelve? Oh, we, we, we don't use numbers for that. You don't number the two halves of your day. No, we call them AM and PM. What does that mean? I think it's anti-meridian and post-meridian. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know much Latin. Latin? Yeah, it's an ancient language from uh, an old empire which controlled a lot of the world, and we still use some of their terms. Oh, that's... That was the civilization that liked base 60 and 70 your time system? That would make sense, but no, completely different one. Okay, and what do you do if you want to measure very short time, shorter than a second? Oh, we use milliseconds and microseconds. Ah, so those are what, 60 of a second and then 60 of the other? No, thousand. 
So you switch to base 10 at last, but only for the subdivisions of the second. Yeah, but at thousands, uh, 10, 10, 10s. Yeah, technically we have deci seconds and cent seconds, which are 10th and 100th second, but no one really uses them. We just use mini. That sounds more like a base 1000 system than a base 10 system. It kind of is, but we do similar thing with our measures of volume, distance and mass. Do you still call it base 10? Yeah. So let me see if I get this right. Your years are divided into 10 months, each of which has some variable number of days, the second of which varies based on complex formula, and each day is divided into two halves of 12 hours, of 60 minutes, 60 seconds, and 1,000 milliseconds. 12 months, actually. Oh, right, because of an ancient civilization that likes base 60 and 12 is a divisor of 60. Uh, no, actually, that came from the civilization that used Latin. Previously, there were 10, what? Uh, yeah, the, the Latin guys added two months parts, uh, part of the way through the, uh, their rule, added two more months. Um, that's why some are named after the wrong numbers. You said two things there I'm having trouble with understanding. Your months are named, not numbered. The names are wrong. Yeah, our ninth month is named after the number 7, and so on for 10, 11, 12. Your 12th month is named 10. Yeah. What are the other ones named after? Various things, mainly gods uh, or rulers. Oh, from the same religion that your epoch came from. No different one. So you have an epoch based on one religion, but name your months after a different one. Yeah, just wait until you have other days of the week. What? Uh, yeah, we group days into seven day periods, which aren't even divisor your month length or year length. Right, don't interrupt. Sorry. But we name the days of the week rather than numbering them. Funny story uh, with, with that actually. There's a disagreement about what day starts the week. You have a period that repeats every seven days and you don't agree when it starts. Yeah, it's Monday or Sunday. And those names come f from, well, celestial bodies and gods, the, the sun and the moon and Sunday and Monday, um, so for example. But I looked at your planet's, or planet's orbit's parameter. Doesn't your sun come, up, sun come up every day? Well, yeah, sort of. Um, and do you have one of those odd orbits where your natural satellite is closer or eclipsed every seven days, like Hangar 4? No, the sun and moon are the same um, then as every other day. Um, we, we just name them something. Oh, and the other days, those are named after gods. Yeah, from your largest religion, I imagine. No, that one and the second largest and only one god. Um, uh, it doesn't really have a name. So, so what religion are they from? The, the Latin one again. No, only one name one of the god days <sighs> only so the other days are from a different religion entirely yeah the third or the fourth biggest I assume no it's one that kind of doesn't exist anymore it mostly died out like 800 years ago though some modern small revivals of course so let me confirm I'm understanding this correctly your days and hours and seconds and small are numbered in a repeating pattern but your years are numbered based on a religious epoch, despite it being only one religion amongst several, correct so far. And your months and days and weeks are instead of named, although some are named after numbers, and the wrong numbers, wrong numbers? Exactly. And the ones that aren't numbers or rulers or celestial objects are named after gods, right? Yep. But the months of the days of the week are named after gods from different religions, from the epoch religion and indeed each other. Yeah, except Saturday, that's the same religion as the month religion. And the month Saturday religion is also from the same culture that gave you 12 month system and the names of the two halves of the day, which are also named. Right, well, kinda. Please explain slowly and carefully. Yeah, so cultures before then had 12 month system, but because of the moon, but they had been using 10 month system because switching to 12 and giving them random names before. Um, the moon, your celestial body. Yeah, it completes an orbit about every 27 days. 
that's actually 29, so which is about 12 times a year. So it's only natural we divide the year into 12 periods, which eventually got called months. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, no, your orbital period is approximately 365.25 days, right? Yeah, that's why we do 365 or 366 based on the formula. But that doesn't work. 365 by 27 is 13.5, not 12. Yeah, I'm not sure why, why 12 was so common then. Maybe it goes back to the base 60 people. Okay, so one final check before I file this report. Years are numbered based on religious leaders. Years also have 12 months, but the lengths of those months are not consistent between each other or between years. Don't forget the epoch. We number our years from is wrong, right? Yes. And your months are named, some after different religions, some after numbers, but not the numbers of the month and the year, right? And we change the month lengths. It's the second one we change. How could I forget? And after months, you have a repeating week or of seven days, which is named after gods from two religions, one of which is the month naming one, and nearly extinct one. Um, and you don't agree when the week starts. No, my, my one is on Monday. That's the Monday that's named after your moon, which is supposedly influenced the uh, from normality of the 12 months in the year cycle, despite it's orbiting 13 times in the year, correct? Uh, and, and as for days, they split into two halves, named after the phases, phrase you, you, you don't really understand of a long dead language of the same culture that named the months and Saturday. Yeah, it took some, I took some in college, but all I remember is boy, girl, stinky cocksucker. Charming. And uh, then each half is divided into 12 hours, and you start at 12, then go 1, and then up to 11. And I can say that it makes more sense on analog clocks. I don't know what that is, and at this point I would prefer not to elaborate. Um, so each of those hours is divided into 60 minutes, and then 60 seconds, and then comes an ancient... And that comes from an ancient civilization, but not the one that gave you the month names. Yeah, different guys, different part of the world. Okay, and then after a second you switch to base 10 system, but you only really use multiples of thousands, milliseconds and microseconds. Right, there's small ones beyond that, but they're all used to thousands. Right, got it. All written down. Now, if you excuse me, I've just got to make sure I don't leave my uh, in interrupt guide on. It'll be, I'll be right back. Um, the tall alien walks back to the saucer without a wave. The landing ramp closes. The ship gently lifts off as gangly landing legs retract. There's a beat, then sudden whooshing sound as air rushes back into the space that previously held the craft, now suddenly vacuum. Normal alarms go off briefly as the object is detected leaving the Earth's atmosphere at a significant fraction of the speed of light. <coughs> In the years to come, many technical, technological advances are made from what was left behind, a small tablet-shaped object made of some kind of artificial stone neutrino composite material. The alien message left on the screen is entirely translated, uh, eventually, uh, to read, Untitled Document 1 has not been saved. Are you sure you wish to quit? Yes, no, cancel. Many years have passed and we await the day the aliens return. They have not. <laughs>